Good morning. It's a Wednesday, May 15th. Mike Roberts, golf course superintendent at DRC Ranch Golf Club. We're two days uh, post dry jacked aeration and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, what dry jecting is and uh, some of the reasons uh, we do it. Uh, dry jacked is a fairly new technology that uh, has helped replace our traditional aeration process. It's uh, quite a bit less uh, impact on the surface. Uh, this is the third season we've been using it and the reason we dry jacked is uh, to improve the optimal playing conditions uh, right after. Traditional aeration is usually seven to ten days of recovery where um, with the dry jack process we're back to pretty good playing conditions uh, within, uh, within a couple of days. So here's a video of the dry jacking process. As you can see the staff are loading dried sand into the top of the hopper. What happens then is uh, there's an injection of water into the ground and the injection causes a vortex which pulls the dried sand down into the hole right behind the water. It's uh, easily the best I've ever seen at completely filling the hole uh, from aeration without causing a uh, lot of sand on top. The entire process of dry injecting takes us about eight to 10 hours. Uh, we have a private contractor come in and he has three machines. And with our staff, we're able to get 20 greens done in that time. We're able to put about 30 tons of uh, sand into the green. And uh, like I said before, it leaves very little uh, sand on top, which is why we're able to get back to really good playing conditions as fast as we can. There's three reasons we use an aeration or a dry jet on our greens, and we do it twice a year. The first is to help reduce compaction over the year of mowing and rolling and foot traffic. An aeration helps reduce compaction, which uh, in, in turn helps improve water infiltration into the greens. Um, really compacted greens have a tough time accepting water, and obviously, uh, good greens need to be able to accept water and have it move through the profile uh, fairly quick. And then finally, uh, this year we had a bit of a tough winter and some of our po on our front nine greens uh, didn't survive. So the dry jack also provided an opportunity for us to put some seed into the, into the greens and hopefully uh, have that pop in the next week or two and help improve the playability of the greens. Overall, I guess I'd say that the dry jecting process that we've used now for three years at the golf club has uh, really helped improve playing conditions 